Doesn't this look cool? I'm turning a traditional southern pie into my pinwheel cookies. I love peach cobbler and I thought, what a cool way if I could just put them into a smaller cookie. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it. We've got some room temperature unsalted butter in this bowl. I'm also going to add some softened cream cheese. I'm going to add sugar and some vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. And I'm going to cream it on a low speed with my hand mixer. So that looks great. It's nice and smooth, light and fluffy. So what I've got in here is some flour. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to it with a fork just kind of mix it up. It's a really, really easy dough to make. And just add your flour right in. And on low speed, so that you don't have a flour party in the air, just slowly mix it together. So that looks good. Don't be alarmed if it kind of looks like a little flaky. It's a flaky dough, so we're just gonna use our hands and just kind of pull it together. And we're gonna actually transfer this to plastic wrap and set it in our fridge, and it's gonna set into a beautiful dough. So, I'm actually going to flour my surface and just knead this dough until it kind of forms into a nice, round ball. So now we're gonna transfer this to some plastic wrap. And we're gonna cover it pretty tightly in the plastic wrap. And we're gonna set it in our fridge for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna bring it out roll it out and start making our cookies. Our dough is out of the refrigerator and I'm just going to remove the plastic wrap, sprinkle my flour with some, my board with some flour. And I'm gonna use my rolling pin here, just flour the rolling pin too. And just put a little weight on it. If for whatever reason you don't have a rolling pin at home, you could totally do this with a wine bottle. So the key to making pastry not stick is to just use flour and make sure that both sides are always floured at all times. So just roll it out into a beautiful rectangle. Now that your pastry is rolled out, I'm just going to use my pastry cutter here and get any of the excess off and just form it into a beautiful rectangle. Now I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm gonna actually use it again to make even more of our cookies. So, we're just going to cut these into thirds. So just slice that last one there. Now what I have is some peach jam. You could totally um, find this in your grocery store easily. And I'm just gonna spread this jam right on top. You could also use like a peach preserves and just spread it across the pastry. Now you wanna focus more on the inside, so don't fill it all the way to the edges. You wanna leave about a quarter of an inch on the ends. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. You just wanna cut right from the end of the pastry, almost to the center, but don't go all the way through the center, and create like an X shape, and then just fold over your cookie into a beautiful, pinwheel shape. Look at that. And we're gonna transfer this over to a cookie sheet. I'm gonna continue cranking these out. So I'm gonna show you how to finish up these since my sheet pan's filled. I'll work on the rest later. I'm just gonna use some cinnamon and just sprinkle them right on top. Not too much, but this is like another power flavor in traditional peach cobbler. Those look great. So I've got an oven preheated at 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake these for about eight to 10 minutes and we're gonna eat it. You know, it smells like my father's peach cobbler and I'm gonna give these a try. They're a little bit warm, so. Mmm. Yes, this is so, so, so good. And we use a little help from the grocery store to make our filling, but you know what? We made our own crust, so. I think we did a good job. I'm Son of a Southern Chef, see you next time.